That'll hold me over. Mate, I will follow. That is so harmful. Oh, he will. Ah! I need gas. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within a column as the Good early morning. Good morning. As you can see, I started off with my devotional, the Confident Woman devotional right here. And it shows that I'm at 97%, of course, because the year's almost over. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, I've heard time and time again, is a very good book to read. But let me tell you, this is hard to get through. The chapters are incredibly long. It's dense. The stories are long. I don't want to finish reading this book. That is how turned off I am. And I took a peek to see what was left over in the contents. I'm only at chapter three, granted. I don't read this every day like I would like because it's so hard to get through. God, what is the problem? It's too dense. Man, I don't want to finish this, but I don't like the idea of starting a book and not finishing it. So that is the only thing that is troubling me right now. I'm going to leave it here and think about it. I might have to just chalk this up because that's getting on my nerves. I accidentally bought the audio version of Sarah Jakes's All Hope is Found book, but you know that I already finished the book i read it through here and it was such a breeze such a breeze so i've got dr nita phillips the garden within that i want to read i've got leaders eat last daring greatly that's Brene brown right i think quiet i forgot why i wanted to read that i've seen it over the years so many times I think again these are business related life motivation type related david and goliath all these outliers i've heard so much about Oh, adult children of emotionally immature parents. I want to read that. I'm sure there's something that I can glean from there. So now I don't know what type of book I want to read next because I was trying to gain the business knowledge from this Think and Grow Rich book, but good Lord almighty. Oh, Nothing is Missing by Nicole Walters. I want to read. That's a personal story. And then this is It's Not You. I, what's it called? Identifying and healing from narcissistic people. Ooh. Yeah, I found her on YouTube and I want to read that. So I've got to identify the type of book that I want to read because this is just so dense. Whereas, of course, the book by Sarah Jakes Roberts was about Christ and faith and hope. Abby. What should I choose? Should I go back into that direction? Should I go into... This is Brene Brown, isn't it? Yeah. Daring Greatly. Oh, I haven't bought it yet. I'm so annoyed. Okay, so I... Okay, want to read. Understood. What have I, what have I bought already? This is the iPad. This is the iPad Air, by the way, if you're curious. What have I bought already? Hold on. Books. Didn't I buy... Okay. Oh, I do want to read Kingdom, Raising Kingdom Kids. I have bought that. Huh. Oh, I've bought Adult Children of Emotionally Immature Parents already. And I bought The Garden Within. Okay, okay. Okay, so I did begin this. When did I begin this? I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Let me change the font. I had the font bigger because that other Think and Grow Rich book was just insanely hard to read. It was just too jam-packed. I had to I had to increase the size of the font. Let's bring this to a reasonable place. Should I read this one or should I go with adult children of emotionally immature parents? I'll link these books below in case you want to get them in physical form or digital like I do here. I enjoy using this iPad. I really, really do. All right, I don't read all this stuff. How to heal from distant, rejecting, and self-involved parents. My God almighty. Now, I want to put out a, di a disclaimer that is not my experience however I've heard that I can still gain 
something from the book. I mean, I'm just curious. Obviously, I'm curious. It's why I read, right? Curiosity leads to me reading. Okay. And not only that, this will speak life into me as a parent because I like to make sure that I can avoid traumatizing my child. I take parenthood very seriously. So it's just good to learn. It's good to learn. Right here, right away, this is speaking to me. What happens when immature parents lack the emotional responsiveness necessary to meet their children's emotional needs? That is so important. That is so important because I know my child so well. I pay attention to him and I have to give him what he needs because every child is different you feel me so i love it already i love this already because it's talking about parenting there was obviously the book about parenting but it's not like i said i'm not the one who has gone through this but i'm learning to make sure that i don't become like this for my child the result is emotional neglect a phenomenon as real as physical deprivation good lord isn't that so sad that you can live in a house with two parents or give your child a two-parent household but then be emotionally neglectful to them or be emotionally neglected that's terrible because then what's the point of the, the two parents in the house you're physically there but not emotionally there and i like this right here actually this book describes how emotionally immature parents negatively affect their children especially children who are emotionally sensitive because i would imagine that two children may respond to emotional neglect differently i imagine that it would of course harm and traumatize an emotionally sensitive child more than a child who is not as emotionally sensitive. So that's where you'll find people who will say, oh, I mean, two, two, two different children raised in the same household. You'll find one that says, that was so traumatic. And you'll find one that will say, I mean, it was okay, it was fine. I mean, I didn't see anything wrong. And both are right, neither are wrong. They're both, they both have different personalities, you feel me? Everyone's entitled to their opinion and their feeling and their interpretation, their experience. You feel what I'm saying? Mm, oh my God. I'm already just so sick. I cannot. This is so, man, this is, this is bringing up a lot of thoughts for me. Emotionally immature parents fear genuine emotion. What? And pull back from emotional closeness. That makes me so sad to think about to think about if I was that person. That is actually really, really sad. And to think about if that was my parent, I would be so hurt because I am an emotionally responsive, sensitive person. So there's so many reasons why this book is, I wanted to read this, that is so powerful. Can you imagine a parent that uses coping mechanisms that resist reality rather than dealing with it? Good Lord almighty. What do you mean you would rather resist reality than to deal with it? That is so harmful. But we have parents that do this all the time. Oh my God, am I going to highlight this whole book? They don't welcome, like I'm reflecting on different situations that I'm aware of that I've encountered. Again, that they're not necessarily my parent. I mean, I, I don't know if I shared this, but many years ago, I had a tough conversation with my mom where I explained how I perceived my upbringing, just a portion of it that was still traumatic for me. And she acknowledged, she apologized. Even my therapist was like, you she said lucky, but I, I call it blessed. You are lucky that your mom acknowledged and apologized because many parents don't. And I was like, thank God she did because that was a pain point for me. So thankfully she, she does have that self-reflection and I just praise Jehovah for that. But I'm, I'm reading this and I'm thinking of so many people in situations where parents would not do that. This is so traumatic. These people don't welcome self-reflection, so they are so they rarely accept blame or apologize. Christ. Their immaturity makes them inconsistent and emotionally unreliable, and they're blind to their children's needs once their own agenda comes into play. Wow. In this book, you'll learn that when parents are emotionally immature, their parents, their children's emotional needs will almost always lose out to the parents' own survival instincts. Oh my goodness. And I remember a time where my mom was just trying to survive. She's not the only one. Maybe your parents or your mom was in survival mode for some time when you were younger. Because like I said, mine was. But as an adult, being able to have that honest conversation with her and explain where I needed her emotionally 
And I knew that because she was busy trying to survive and trying to get us to survive, that that was why the emotional component during that time was missing. But you better believe that right now, that emotional component is there and it has been for a long time. So that's the blessing in my situation that I get God the glory for because again, this is not my experience now. And I just, I, I can only thank God because it I, I'm only on paragraph three and I can't even stop reflecting because I've seen and I know too much of this. And then again, for me, it's so important. I don't want to traumatize my child. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't and I won't. Therefore, I continue to evolve and heal so that I can raise an evolved and healed child. It's right here where I talked about two children being raised in the same house, having different experiences. Knowing the differences in emotional maturity gives you a way of understanding why you can feel so emotionally lonely in spite of other people's claims of love and kinship. Mm -hmm. Wow. The good news is that by grasping the concept of emotional immaturity, you can develop more realistic expectations of other people, accepting the level of the relationship with them instead of feeling hurt by their lack of response. That, that makes me sad. That makes me so sad to think about because the reality is we cannot change people. So if our parent is emotionally unavailable, emotionally immature, then we have to get to a point where you accept the level of the relationship with them that is possible with them. Because at a certain point, this is what they are providing. This is all that they can give. They can or are willing to give because can and willing are different. This is all that they can and are willing to provide to me, for me. Therefore, I need to work on not feeling hurt by their lack of response. That is so damn sad. But it's a power move because at a certain point, you've got to get back into the driver's seat. That's good. That's good. Yo, I'm looking at this even out, out, again, outside of the parental, parental, outside of the parental relationship in 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 relationships in general. Yo, yo, good morning. We're back. We are back in Houston. It is so gray outside. I, although I do like this lighting though. This lighting is really nice. We are back and I started to unpack yesterday and I didn't finish. I was so tired. Today I'm continuing with the unpacking and I'm almost done with my suitcase. Now, you may or may not know that I like to keep my suitcase 80, 90% packed so that when I have somewhere to go, all I have to do is put in my actual clothing that I'm gonna wear and then I'm good to go. So what that means for me right now is that I don't have much that I need to take out. I took out the clothes. I'm gonna take out those pajamas and wash them. I'm gonna wash my robe because, you know, from wearing it and just different things, the robe just has to be washed. And here's my suitcase right here. And I leave this stuff in, for instance. Oh, this is a wig. I have these wig pack thingies. I will link it in case you want it. And it has a hanger. So you can hang your wig up either at home or at your location. Where is it? Come on. It got all, it moved around. But there's a hanger inside of here. Isn't this great? So you hang your wig up. I have a whole bunch and I have some wigs hung up in my closet. I keep these in here to absorb moisture, very important. Side eye, I'm gonna keep this is some hair stuff, random things. What is this? Ooh, this broke off of something. Oh god. I'm gonna keep this. I don't need this hat anymore. Oh, I did find that I was missing some stuff in here. I keep some I keep electronics in here. I did not work out today, although I wanted to. I have therapy in 38 minutes. And then I'm gonna just get ready for the day and go from there. I was so surprised by what Shad did. I think that was so sweet. I love a good surprise. She got me good. I mean good. Her infinity plan, I just wow. And it was a nice chill birthday, you know? Sometimes a good chill situation. My ears are all itchy. Sometimes a good chill situation is just good. And it was just really nice. I will never forget. That was so sweet. That scared the crap out of me. And when I watched the video, I saw, just see my eyes. I was just like, is this a joke? What, what are you, who, how are you here? How are you here right now? It's just so nice. It's just so nice. It's just so nice. I don't have a lot of words to say about it, but it's just so nice. And I'm just very grateful. So yeah, 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 yeah. All the things. I'm about to log in right now. <laughs> this wig is such a mess. I'm so hot. Who else is really hot after they shower? Good luck. I pull down the fan on because, excuse me. Hi, good morning.
session is done. That was so helpful. Oh my gosh. I needed it. I always need it. And oh, I need to book my next session. Shoot. If I don't book it right away, the time and day that I want will likely not be available. I just, I really wish. Better help if you're watching. Hello. I mention y'all all the time. I've been paying on my own for a long time, but I really wish there was a way to have recurring sessions that I always pick on another day. Come on, it's just inconvenient. Let's see what the day gonna bring. I need to redo my, the thing that was in the shower that was holding my stuff got too heavy and it fell down, I'm sick tired of it. So now I'm gonna do the one that hangs over the top, which is not really aesthetically pleasing, but it's just it is because that thing keeps on falling down because I keep on putting too many things in it. That's why this stuff is there. So I ordered a new one, it comes today. And then that's my blue support sponge. I'm so irritated. <laughs> it works really well, but it's not aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> But then yeah, BBI, but yeah, aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, yeah. So we are gonna just leave it there. I'm doing a red lip today. I don't do red lips often. This is MAC Locked Lip Locked Kiss Ink, and this is the shade Ruby True. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I'm here out in the town. I feel like such a tourist, imagine. I don't get out much and I need to. So I'm here and I'm about to go to this coffee shop called Common Bond. Never heard of it, never been to it, and get some work done while I'm in the area. I feel good today. I got myself dressed for no other reason except I love myself and I wanted to show. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I love myself and I wanted to show, so I got myself dressed. Hello. Ooh, wait. <laughs> not me spitting boars in the morning. <laughs> that was not intentional, but it just happened because talent, hi. Talent, blessings on blessings on me. <laughs> I'm um, wearing my favorite Amazon cargoes because, excuse me, why wouldn't I? and this top from amazon also this is an old trench jacket my fendi bag and then i have on my what taupe colored shoes from zara so let's go inside my bag is so heavy let's get some work done i hope that this i hope i can find a comfortable spot Yo, good morning. So I went to the coffee shop. I've been going to the coffee shop each day this week outside of the holiday, obviously. And it's so funny because, well, it's not, it's not funny. Let's, let's, let's go back. It's actually fun. Oh, why is this different? I need my climate to be equal. Can you sink? Thank you. I need it to be equal. Thank you so much. I need things to be equal. I cannot function. It's actually been so fun because it gives me a reason to get dressed. I, there are there ooh, ooh, not this thing automatically making me go back there aren't very many things that i miss about working in the office actually i don't miss anything except the reason to get dressed because it's fun to play dress up it's different when you're just creating content because you're creating content versus i'm actually getting dressed to go somewhere to wear this outfit for a whole day and so on and so forth right even even then i used to get stares and questions and gawks because wow you're dressed up so nicely look what i have on well it's not my issue you came to work with the pajamas you wore overnight and you didn't even brush your teeth or shower right that's what you chose to do i would never <laughs> you're not going to catch me doing that and not to mention i'm a black woman i can't even afford to do that i i would never do it but if i decided i wanted to do it i would not be able to because if i did the way i would be disrespected it's not going to work so I've been enjoying this ability to get dressed and and just play dress up and just look nice and, and feel good. So everywhere I go, I go to this coffee shop over here and they, they be looking at me like, where the hell is she going? And then I'm bringing Ene to a science camp and they're just looking at me like, what? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. It makes me smile every time because people recognize when you are a woman who has put effort into her appearance excuse me and i sprayed on this baccarat 540 dupe that i got from joma shop is it joma shop or was it amazon they're on both i believe i'll link it below it smells huh, so good it's so strong thus far it's my first day wearing it out and i love it so yeah i've been going to this coffee shop over here called common bond and it's cool it's not as cozy i was as i would like it feels very sterile in there it's very white and sterile <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. It's right here. So it just makes my life easier. But the thing is, I have a meeting at 9. Hey, no, what was it? 10. AJ. Okay, my meeting is at 10. And obviously, I'm not going to be talking in there. They got music playing. I can't. So I'm going to park over here and then do my meeting and go from there. I need to go to the mall. I don't even like going to the mall. You know that about me, right? I need to go to the mall because. I freaking need another eyeshadow palette. I was thinking to myself, yo, okay, not me having y'all over here and now I can't even see when I back up. I'm irritated. Let me use the satellite view of the backup. I cannot. I don't ever use this satellite view. I like, okay, I can use my side views. Like, I don't know how to drive. There is a side view, but I like to use the camera. <laughs> the monitor, I mean, I be spoiled. I be using the monitor or whatever. <gasps> I need gas. Hold on. I have six miles of range. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me pull out. I need gas. Who am I talking about? Okay, I need to find gas places. Not me calling it gas places. I'm annoyed. Hold on, because this thing sh pops up with a with a, a what you call it, and then it, I, it can tell me gas places. Hey, gas places! It can tell me gas. What is it called? Let me go to call it a gas tank. I'm irritated. Hey, wh what's it called? Gas stations. Uh huh. Hey, hey BMW. She be acting up sometimes. I gotta park her? Okay, I was in drive. Hey, BMW. Hi, BMW. Hey. Oh. Could you try once again? Oh, okay, sure. Hey, BMW. Please try again. Which hey. station would you like to listen That's to? That's not what I said. Yo, these things be acting up. Hey, BMW. Show me the nearest gas station. And I have CarPlay connected, so I don't even know which one I want to use. This is BMW, this Amazon, this CarPlay, this Google, what? Alexa, Google, which one am I talking about? Hey, BMW, show me the nearest gas station. I have found multiple destinations in the category gas station. Which one should I select? Does it matter which gas station we use? For instance, would you go to Murphy? Let's go. Or does it have to be Chevron? Does it have to be, we had mobile, mobile gas station back in Rhode Island. My, does it have to be Chevron? Is it okay if you go to Sidgo? Is it okay if you go to uh, does it Mara? I don't know if it Mara's, you know. Does it Mara? <laughs> I'm irritated this early morning. Hi. Okay, well, I'm gonna follow. Ah, I'm gonna follow. Mate, I will follow. Okay, two minutes. Why is it playing Magic 102 though? I never said I wanted to listen to the radio. I don't do radio. I've ready my pie radio. I've, I've, I'm above that. I fly above all the drama. I fly above all the drama of the radios. I'm different. You're lucky I'm even not doing serious XM. Hi, I don't want. Yeah, they got a Maserati delicious over here. The Maserati looks real sexy. You feel me? Imagine me in a Maserati. Chilling in my Maserati. Hey. I don't want this music. What is this? I don't want this music. I want my own music. Okay. Yeah, so imagine me in a Maserati. In a Maserati. How's that song go? In a Maserati. Hey. Mm. <laughs> I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Yeah, so here I am. I feel like I'm cruising the streets in my mom's car. You know, when you're a teenager, you got your mom's car, you're cruising the streets. Oh my God. Anyway. Turn right and then turn right. Where? In what? What? In the parking lot? Ooh, ooh. There's a gas station in the parking lot? Wait, what? How is there a gas station in the parking lot? Is that is that a thing? This is not Kroger. Wait a minute. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Turn right in a minute. Turn right. Oh, it is. <laughs> Yo, why am I so annoyed? Why am I so annoyed? There is a gas station in the parking lot. <laughs> is the Walmart gas station? It's also called Murphy. Uh huh. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn this is not connected to Walmart. Mate, thank you. Ah. Yeah, Tim, we are here. Thank you so much. You have done well. Oh, it's right here. It is in the back of the line. I'm so annoyed. It was right. Do we go here? Do we do we do this? Do you do this? Because I'm doing this. I have six miles left. Wow. Yo, when did mommy? I don't even want to go get gas. I miss full service gas. You can charge me 20 cents more. That's okay. Because I don't want to get down. <laughs> and there's 40 outside today. Can you stop? No. Okay. Tell me at any. No, I told you to stop. So, do what I said. Imagine. Murphy USA. Does this mean that the gas is not gonna be good? It's like buying cheese from, from uh, a, what Whole Foods versus cheese from, 
what Dollar Tree? Where am I at? Is this like Dollar Tree gas? Yo, what am I supposed to do? Do y'all do y'all are y'all uh <laughs> gas snobs? Is that what they call you? <laughs> what is it? Mm. I, I mean, I guess I'm about to get this Murphy gas. Jesus, is that is that bad? Because I think now I think someone told me that I'm supposed to be putting per premium gas in my tank, and I said, excuse me, no. The most we're gonna do is plus. Okay, that's the most. And even plus, it's, it's, it's pushing it. You feel me? You're lucky we're not doing regular. I mean, it's a brand new vehicle. I feel like regular shit, you should, you should be able to deal. You should be able to deal. Okay? But we're going to do plus. But I'm not doing, what should I be doing? Unleaded plus super. Should I be doing, is it super premium? Uh-huh, premium is super. Wait, but super is super is the middle. Almost the thing. I always do the middle. Mm -hmm. The middle the plus. Should I be here? I feel like I shouldn't be here. Should I be putting Murphy in my in my late model vehicle <laughs> i'm irritated i have so much to do today i don't have time to be sitting here thinking about the murphy gas you know what gas is gas i don't know what is it is there a different breed of gas does it mean that this gas is not gonna last me long what is the difference what does it mean does it mean that murphy's gas is gonna be drunk down like a bottle of water or does it mean that the murphy's gas is gonna what what is it gonna do is the car gonna be going do, 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 <laughs> I can't imagine it. Is the Murphy is the Murphy gas gonna make my car go do 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 do, or is the car still gonna run? Because if the car is still gonna run, the guy can be like, who is she talking to? If, if the car is still yo, I have my wipes in my purse, and what I hate is that sometimes it peeks out like peekaboo, and it's given. Why the hell do you have that yellow bag in your Fendi bag? I don't know. I do know. I need it. I need my hands clean. You know, is the gas gonna make my car go do do do? Hi. Uh, oh, are they coming to? Wait, are they coming to pump the car they've towed? Wow, they pump towed cars. Take a picture of it too. Gee, the, guy, the guy's looking at me. <laughs> they just let down. Oh, you saw it. The car just got let down and now they're going to pump gas into it. Wow, very special. I'm so special. I'm so special. So special. So special. Anybody about the body? I'm not special. Okay, I'm going to go pump this gas. I've been sitting here long enough. I really wish somebody would just walk up and pump it for me. You feel me? Yeah. And I give you a tip. Two dollars. How much is gas? Yo, gas is expensive. I'm not into this right now. Oh, not my hair. Oh, whose hair is this? <gasps> I'm ready for hair. My coffee. I'm hot. Ooh. Oh, the person got told to a gas station. Matias. Yeah. The guy told the person to the gas station and the guy's putting gas in his car. Do you know that in, during my early years of being in Houston, I was that person who would drive my car on E and my car stopped on me for the first time in my life. And I think it's happened to me twice, actually, if I recall back. My car stopped and I had to call a friend to come bring me a gas container. And we didn't even know how to get the gas from the container to the car. And you would think I would have learned my lesson right now. And the ticket was definitely E negative. It was E negative, not E, because it's E and then there's E negative. You watch that. This was E negative, and I was still driving because I didn't feel like going to the gas station, and then I thought like I could be okay. <laughs> and then I had to call my friend, like, yo, I'm parking the side of the road, the car just stopped. I will never forget that feeling of we are driving and the car stops. <sighs> and it was a hot day. It was a hot day. I was close to my house, but not close enough. But yeah, that's it. So I understand having to get towed to come get gas, but I thought the tow I thought the tow can actually bring you gas. Can't they bring you gas? Like when you call your when you call your insurance? Because I've had that before too, I think. It has happened to me twice. <laughs> the insurance company brought the gas to me. Hey! In this world, this this summer, in this world, what we are do, what I'm doing, I'm not I'm not interested. I know I need to do better. I'm not me myself, I'm not interested. How much more? Hey, Maya. Oh, that's the gas. Why does this always do this? Find my. The find my is with me. And what are you finding? Why are you always finding something? The find my is with me. And you are telling me it's not found. Why do you do that? Can you stop? Take your purse with you when you get out of the car. Will I get robbed over here? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, ooh. Yo, the guy's car is not starting. I remember. Hmm, I've had transmission issue. I've had ultimate issue. I've had. Okay, good. The car is starting. Praise you, Jehovah. Yo, I know that feeling. Yo, when you got your car, it goes. <laughs> I know that feeling. Okay, let's pump gas in this vehicle. I guess, yeah. Yo! <laughs> Ooh, I love how as I got close to my car, I heard it unlock. I heard the tick. And 
And that's actually really good because I have on my iWatch and my iWatch is a key. So it unlocks my vehicle and I love that. So that's actually good. When I got out, I think it locked, which is great. God, it's great. Yo, I remember one time years ago, I pumped gas and I was sitting here like this and I don't know what happened. That thing did not stop. You know, when it's supposed to stop, click. It didn't click. I did, I said, and I was going to work and it was in the car, baby. And I'm sitting here like, dang, it's taking a long time, you know? And I got out, come and see gas all over the ground. I had run up, I think, a bill of maybe 150 for gas. Hey, because you know how it keeps on going. <laughs> Oh my God, it had gone, nah, the gas was all on the side of the vehicle, I mean, like, yo, I was so scared, I was so freaking scared, and so at that point, when I noticed it, I was outside of the car, so I went in the gas station, and I'm like, oh my God, the thing is overflowing, so turn it off, what am I going to do, is the car going to blow up my child in the car, what am I going to do, hey, ha, come and see, so I don't know if the guy turned it off, BB. And then we took it out, and I'm stepping in the gas. Jesus, I thought the, the car was going to blow up. I was so scared. And mind you, it was about 6 in the morning, 6 in the morning, because at that point, I worked at a job. I had to be there at 7.30. It was early in the morning. It was dark outside. And then uh, the guy said we can go, and I, like, I'm like, can I get a customer service number? Because I'm not paying this whole thing. You know how it's written on your card? I'm like, I need a freaking refund because there's no way I'm paying one, one something for gas. It, it did not stop, right? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I called my job. I was going in late. I was terrified. I thought the car was going to blow up, man. I was so freaking scared. So I always remember that. And I always be looking back because if that thing don't stop, you're going to be at the thousand dollars of gas. And I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. That was a scary time. Hey, oh my God. I was like, if I open the door. Is it going to blow up? If I do this, is it going to blow? What's going to happen? Jesus. Okay, good. See, it just clicked. 21 gallons, $60. Oh, I guess that wasn't bad. Yo, <laughs> bootleg gas don't be costing a lot, but mm -mm. you can watch your surroundings because you just never know, man. And I'm being better about that, watching surroundings, because you just got to know. Because if something happens, you want to know, okay, I remember seeing this car and that car and this woman and that woman and that man and that, that, that. You feel me? Pay attention to whether or not someone looks suspicious. Is this so suspicious? <laughs> it's so suspicious. Yeah, it's not in my contact. I'm so sick of my contacts bother me. Should I get LASIK? I know that I should. They do numb your eyes and give you a friggin' Ativan, I think. For anxiety. So you're not worried and stuff. I should do it, shouldn't I? I should have done it over the break. I've just been too busy. I've got too many things going on. Okay. I lock my door the first thing when I get my car and keep my hands like this and just pinch, like press things like that and then get my hand sanitizer. You feel me? Because, hello, what time is it? Oh, 9.44. Yo, I remember, remember those days <laughs> where you go pump your gas full tank because you know it only charges you uh, a penny just to verify that the card is an actual card. And then you get charged a day or so later. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I remember too many days doing that because I knew that the next day I was going to get paid. Or the next two days I would get paid. <laughs> and honey, I need the gas. My, my, my. My, my, my. Lord, you are too good. Too good to me. Then sings my song, my Savior God to thee. Tell me I'm alone. Tell me everything. Only me and you. Because if I use my phone to talk to her, it's going to go through CarPlay and she won't be able to see me. So I'm going to use my device. Yo, there's too much going on right now. <laughs> Too many tunes. I worked out this morning and I now need to go shower and I've had my hair in these corn braids. I did these corn braids maybe a week and a half ago and I'm tired of them. Yes, it's been easy to get up and put a wig on and go and not have to worry about sticking down my hair and washing it and conditioning it and detailing it. But then again, you know me, I get so irritated and turned off and uninterested in the same old style all the time and to me not every look goes with a wig even if it's a short wig sometimes i know that i'll look and feel best in a certain look when my hair is pulled back i say all that because i'm sick and tired of this wig setup 
because the easy way to wear the wig is to have my hair braided down. I don't do, I have not put on a wig where I put my hair in a low tight bun, but perhaps I should do that for the times where I just want to be able to wear a wig the next day. But with my natural hair, I'm thinking out loud, it's poofy. So for it to, it's full, it's like thick when it's natural. It doesn't lay down as easily. You get what I'm saying? So to braid it is just better. But look at these braids. These braids are so old. And I dyed that wig black because it was a natural brown that I was tired of. So when I braided my hair, I sewed it down so that I didn't have to keep on tucking this hair in and bobby pinning it because that was annoying. But let's take this out and then I'm going to... I'm just itching for a high bun. I'm itching for a low bun. I'm itching for a slip back. What I can say is I was enjoying giving my edges a break. You saw in a previous video how they were looking. I have noticed that there's they're not as thin. Okay, it's not dramatic, but I can tell that there's hair in places where there wasn't so much beforehand. And that was the motivation, part of the motivation behind doing the wigs for some time to give my edges a break. But I get tired of the same old, same old hair. So I tell you, sewing down the hair in the back is so clutch. I did wash my hair twice, shampoo and condition, while it was in the braids. Yes, you can still do that. And I have these two braids right here. Yes, you can still do that. Why not? Especially with the nails. Oh, yes. Get rid of the nail and shampoo the hair and then condition it too. Hello. And, and I've been oiling my scalp because the weather is cooler, which means drier skin all over, including your scalp. So I've been oiling it. And but still, it just be feeling like, Ugh. So I'm excited to take this out. I don't like the takedown process. Yo, you know how you can pay to have your braids taken down? Not paying your little niece, but going to a salon to do it? I've never done that. I don't get braids often. But I like that idea, yo. I like that idea. I mean, it's been around, but I never would have thought... I just have to smell my hair, it smells good. I just, I need to smell things. My sense of smell is very strong. I never would have thought to go and get it and pay to get it done because the takedown is annoying. If I were to ever get really tiny braids, I'm annoyed that I'm not in Ghana. Listen, a lot of thoughts going on, <laughs> a lot of thoughts here. Let's take this down and get a good wash on my hair, comb, I mean, a good retangle. And then I just cannot wait to slick it. I just love how my hair looks. Today I'm itching for a top knot. So let's see about that. Boom shakalaka, we're done. I like the idea that I just did four. Oh, this feels so good. Four braids because more braids, more time, more irritating. Man, yo, I oh my god. I don't care if my nails are on their last leg. I will keep it on just to wash my hair because there's just nothing like it. And they say you're not supposed to use your actual nails. You're supposed to use your nail beds. The beds can go to hell. Ah, we need the nails. I will never forget my old hairstylist back at home, yo. Her nails were mad long. Yo, Jamaica's nails were mad long, yo. And when when it was time for the wash, we wanted her to wash our hair. All those of us who were regulars, because we didn't want no nail pads, finger pads. We didn't want that. We wanted. If you don't scratch my scalp, it's not playing games. And she would be, you know them hairstylists. They don't play no games. She would be, ah. We ain't got out of there, you feel like your your Madula Blongada has gotten on my has gotten a freaking exfoliation. It was so great. So I cannot wait. Oof. This was good. I cannot wait to shampoo and condition my hair. And then pull it up. Like, you know, top knot. Look at my hair. Even though I had a haircut, it's really long. Praise God. Praise God for going here. It's <laughs> just my edges that I suck for so far. All these are you so far for me. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? <laughs> but we still move. Okay? We still move. It's going like this. But we still gonna move. I'm just gonna continue my hydration, continue using my satin pillowcase, and just live. Okay? I don't have time. I can't keep my hand cornwall for the rest of my life. I gotta move. And it's gonna be okay. And I'm not the only one, you feel me? Life goes on. Look at my white hairs. Oh my god. Wait, this got more white? Or I just haven't seen it in a long time. Maybe because I haven't seen it in a long time. Because this patch feels like it's more permanent. Okay. <laughs> not me inspecting my hair now. All right, let's wash this. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now.
face is getting even drier because I exfoliated which I don't do every day and that sponge is so look at my necks I have dry skin here too that sponge is so good I got it on Amazon I'm gonna link everything that I used below in case you want it that Santal oil salt hair oil is so freaking good my skin looks oh, it looks so smooth because I was seeing some breakage around here you know the skin does turn over and i like to give my skin a little bit of assistance to fall off i don't always want to wait we should wait but i don't always be feeling like doing that that's annoying putting the oil on my body gives me time to do this before i go lotion my body because i have dry skin and i recommend this just and for anyone don't let your skin get dry. Now, if you have, if you have a multi-step routine like I do, you're probably thinking, well, how? If I gotta do my face, my thigh will get dry. If I gotta do this, my this will get dry. Well, that's why I put the oil on in the shower, or you can use the Olay in shower moisturizer, which I enjoy too. I just chose to do this today. I don't do both because I feel like it'll counteract one another. That's just what I think. I don't know if it'll start to peel and look weird. So I did that. That'll hold me over, keep my body hydrated. And then now I'm putting this on to keep my face hydrated while I then go and put on my body moisturizer, you see? And then my hair is up because I, I'm not tackling that quite yet. This is very hydrating. It feels nice and cold. And then I rub the extra toward the outer parts of my face. Okay. And I'm doing this to infuse hydration in my skin while I apply my moisturizer. And then of course you gotta come back and then do the skincare routine. I know it's a lot. <laughs> There are a lot of steps, hello. For body, I've been enjoying so many things, one of which is this Nutrium The Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Butter. So stinking good, y'all. So stinking good. My skin feels, it feels nourished. I'll sometimes just do this and go to bed because I don't feel dry at all. But I like extra, especially since I have dry skin. So I'm gonna put lotion on top. But if you don't and you want to just do the oil and go about your day, go for it. I mean, what in the world? But I like extra. This is good. This is good. It leaves a nice sheen on the skin. It's rich. I just, oh, it smells delightful. Oh, I didn't do my, I did exfoliate my elbows and behind my thighs and my, the, my back. I forgot to do my, I forgot to do my armpits. That's okay. I mean, I did it this morning. I just do it when I remember but I exfoliate my armpits. <laughs> this keeps falling off, I'm so annoyed. I should go change it, I know. I have the strap towel thing, but I like to exfoliate my armpits to make sure that I don't have body odor. You know my routine, you know how that go. But I can do it in the shower or out of the shower and both ways work. And sometimes I'll do both. And summertime, I'm doing both. I'm just inhaling rice and spinach too. That's why I took off the mouth part of the mask. So annoyed, let's continue on. Yeah, I'm so full, I wanna go lay down. Ah, it's not all this here is just like a lot of work, like what the hell. It always feels so awkward to take that off. My neck feels so dry, so we're gonna make sure to bring the skincare down the neck, and I don't need to do my chest. My chest is full of a lot of creams. I'll do the neck for sure, because my skin feels dry on my neck. If you ever feel dryness on your neck, comment and let me know. It's a thing, man. You really gotta bring that skincare down there. So this is the Fenty Hella Click Eye Cream. What's the name of it? I enjoy this. It is mad thick and I don't get any issues with it when I do my eye makeup, so don't be concerned. I mean, even my full face, you already know. I do a full skincare routine, it's gonna look extremely wet and hydrating. It's gonna look amazing under the makeup. Don't ever think that there's a such thing, at least in my experience, 
of putting on too much skincare and then it messes up the makeup. Absolutely not. In fact, if you don't put on enough skincare, your makeup gonna look crazy. So that's the other, that's the flip side of it, okay? And then let's hydrate some more, although my skin feels very hydrated. That mask is good. Let's intensify, okay? Good molecules, hyaluronic acid serum. This stuff is great. Hyaluronic acid draws in moisture. You wanna follow up, obviously, with the moisturizer, which you're gonna do. This is so good. I've never used snail mucin, but I wanted to say that this one was like snail mucin, but you know, we're not gonna have that draw, that slime aspect to it. But <clears throat> it feels like what I think snail mucin feels like. This particular hyaluronic acid, I enjoy it. It feels nice and rich. And you can use a, a roller ball to roll your face or just take your finger and do your own lymphatic drainage massage, which I do from time to time. And I do have my new face device. I should, where the heck is it? I gotta take it out. I'd be having so many things. You can do that to give yourself a good old lift. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you don't have any of those things, take your finger, baby, and do that, okay? All right, now my face is tacky so it's it's on okay we don't want to rub this thing until infinity let it sit all right and then we're gonna do vitamin c because it's daytime now i'm gonna do a vitamin c super boost moisturizer so it's vitamin c and moisturizer this is paula's choice you may or may not have seen your girl on an ad on peacock or on social media or whatever because <laughs> i have heard that i was on peacock <laughs> with me <laughs> and I've seen my own ad it's, it's, so, it's just so surreal this stuff is very moisturizing obviously like I said it's got vitamin C in it it feels hydrating daytime follow up with an SPF which we're gonna do nighttime like just go right to bed baby vitamin C is great to even skin tone bright in dark spots it's an antioxidant, works really well with your moisturizer. Excuse me, works really well with your SPF. This is an SPF. This is this is a vitamin C and moisturizer combined. Why am I getting tongue tied? Ah. Very hydrated. I'm avoiding the brows as best I can because you know they're microbladed. They're still hanging on strong, honey. They are still hanging on strong. I keep thinking to myself, when do I have to do it again? I don't know. When do I have to do it again? I've had one touch up. So do I go again ever? How many years does this last? I guess we'll have to see. I'm glare. So I have to go like this to see this side. I guess we'll see, but it's hanging on strong, honey. <laughs> if you have if you have microblading, how long has it been? How long have you had it where you have not had to have touch ups? Because I want to know. This is from a new brand that was sent to me. It's a small business. It's called 730 and it's a daily habit SPF. Now I talked about this in a different video. One thing to know whenever you're using an SPF, whether it's SPF by itself or an SPF moisturizer, look at the ingredients and make sure it does not say zinc oxide. If it says zinc oxide, you're dealing with a physical sunscreen and that's the one that's going to leave with the white cast. Zinc oxide is a white powder. It don't be blended well. It's gonna look ridiculous. I like to use chemical or what do they call it organic sunscreens where it has avabenzone that's the one i look for it'll have others but that's the one that i know okay so if it has avabenzone which this one does have three percent avabenzone then this is the one that you need okay if you have brown skin you apply this 15 minutes before sun exposure all right I have not had any issues. It's not like this is getting into my bloodstream and my bloodstream and then I'm having medical complications. I have not, okay? I don't think I've even used. Oh no, I used this one time, like I said. <laughs> I don't remember. I used it one time. Okay, apply an ample amount, a lot. And let's apply it to the face. Get the neck and chest. This has a nice light scent. I think it's pleasant. Thank God I don't have a fragrance allergy. And the way I love fragrance, oh my gosh, if I was ever allergic to fragrance, it would be cruel and unusual. Ah, oh my goodness. So thank goodness I can wear fragrance all over my body. I can use facial products with fragrance and not have a reaction. My face feels rich. I mean rich, okay? Can you tell? It just feels rich and I love this. 
One thing to note too is, and I've mentioned before, when I do my skincare, I don't normally go right into makeup. There's time, there's hair, there's whatever else. So by that time, my make my skincare has absorbed in a way where it don't feel as rich, but there have been times where I go right in. This, this is nice. I'm reminded, I like this SPF. Is this an SPF moisturizer? It just says SPF, but this feels like a moisturizer. Well, I mean, I put on my own moisturizer because it doesn't say moisturizer. This is great. 730 Daily Habit SPF 30. I, I mean, I don't know what that brand is, but I really enjoy that. My face feels supple. If you don't like to feel your product on your face, you're not gonna like this routine. If you do, because you, <laughs> you care about how your skin look and feel and or you are a mature woman, you know, you're gonna enjoy this. You want to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. The rest on your hands, your knife and chest, obviously, that's important. And I like to clean the, the inner part of my hand because I, I just I have things to do. So the inside can't be too greasy. I've been using this virgin hair fertilizer for some time, on and off, admittedly. I'm back on it now because if nothing else, I just, I can feel the tingle. <laughs> so I just feel like it's doing something. It's from, it's from Nigeria, right? Where's it from? Mm -hmm. It's from Nigeria, I believe. Hey! Oh, okay. It's by S128. I'm going to say, what the heck? I think it's from Nigeria. It's from Amazon. I'll link it below. I mean, all this stuff is about consistency. You feel me? Consistency. My hair loss is right in the front, so I'm targeting it with the creams and the oils and whatever else. We're gonna do our pullbacks. I have to. I gotta. I gotta just maneuver. I've been doing it for years, so the edges have come and gone. <laughs> and then I feel them because you know I ain't got a problem with that. I just feel them in and I go sit down. This is good old eco style of gel. You know what too? Do my makeup without a wig, with my hair slicked back, slicked down somehow. It's just easier. Ugh. And I've been wanting to use some kind of an oil sheen, but I don't want that making my face oily. Not that kind of oily. Natural oil is fine, but not oily from an oil sheen. What? I'm not trying to have clogged pores. I have a piece of hair that I used to, this is like a kinky something something hair that I used to use to do a top knot. I don't know where it is, but I want it because I want to do a top knot to my hair. You know, twist it up with an extension because my pony is fine, but I don't feel like I want to look for it. So let's just use my, oh, I need the gel. Dang it, now my hands are too slippery. All right, it's going to be more of a messy bun ish when it's too tall be hitting my what you call it when i get in the car and that is so annoying okay let's just stop right here <laughs> it's been a while it's been a while yeah. christ is my firm foundation the rock on which i stand and everything around me shaken Oh, oh, I've never been more glad that I put that more glad. I, I didn't start that confidently. Wait, let's go back. I've never been more glad that I put my faith in Jesus. Cause he's never let me down. He's faithful through generations. So why would he fail now? He won't. That was not my not my best at all. He won't. No, it won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't. No, 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 no. He won't. He won't. See? He won't fail. He won't fail. I don't even like the key that I was just in. Like, what? He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. No, that's how it goes. <laughs> Look at me. See? 
making stuff up. He won't. Uh, even though I'm dancing around how the key is and all of that, he still won't fail. So the message of the song still prevails. Hello, I'm rhyming. Am I rhyming or am I not? <laughs> just tell me. Hi. All right. So sometimes I'm doing a little bit of a swoop. <laughs> and I just did it <laughs> while I'm saying sometimes. This has to go back. You feel me? And this is how I use my edge one line to really gear it. To really gear it. You feel me? Because you don't just get it, you gotta get it. <laughs> we use the R and get it. That's when, uh, that's yeah. Then we know that it's doing something good in my life. That's yeah. That's, yeah. that's my new thing. That's yeah. <laughs> it's a little, sh uh, hey, go down. All right. And then I fill it in after it has cooked. <clears throat> the edges just be needing a little bit of a little bit more refinement because I don't want that to be squiggly. It needs to be flat. Curly, squiggly, curly. Oh man, I messed up the side. Oh. That I won't be going under. I've never been more glad that I built my life on Jesus. Hey, cause he's never let me down. He's faithful through generations. So why would he fail now? He will. Ah, what's going on? I've never ripped so many <laughs> head ties in a row like this. I did have some one. Mm-mm. Oh, that was twisted. Uh oh, good God. Oh. Yo, is this a bad batch? <laughs> 